beach to walk on, sand castles to build, kites to fly, a perfect happy family time. This is what John pictured for himself when his son was born. Instead, he rarely sees his child. His former partner repeatedly ignores court orders and prevents access. We have changed his identity to protect the young boy. It's a no-win situation because the harder I push, the harder she pushes back. And my son is caught in this where any person who genuinely had their child's best interests at heart would, would not be behaving like this, you know. They wouldn't be making these decisions. They wouldn't be preventing in such a toxic manner a relationship, which is very positive. It is widely acknowledged the family court system is broken. In John's case, his former partner has breached 84 court orders and has been in contempt of court with no consequences. He also told us he's been repeatedly falsely accused of harming his child, yet he continues to fight through increasing despair, quite simply because he loves his son. And it is precisely because of cases like this that tonight a new campaign is being launched, which will ask parents, how would you behave if you split up? Of course, when you're standing at the altar or in the registry office or giving birth to your children, you could not contemplate that one day it might all fall apart. But tonight, the launch of the Parents' Promise is asking couples to think about precisely that, because what they do not want to happen is for you to end up in the family courts, using the children in an acrimonious and bitter battle. 20 years ago, Fathers for Justice gained notoriety for their fight to fix the system, but it hasn't worked. So this campaign, backed by a number of charities, is deliberately not targeting the family courts. This is about asking society to start the conversation. These are the figures. More than 100,000 marriages or relationships of parents break down in the UK on average every year. 280,000 children will be impacted and one in three couples post-separation head to the family court. We thought it was really telling that you know, nearly nine in ten parents have talked about what they do if they win the lottery but less than five percent of parents have ever talked about separation and actually planned what might happen um, so we thought cultural change can be super powerful it needs to start with a, with a conversation uh, like the parents promise and why not have that conversation now when times are good than try and do it at precisely the worst time which is when you're getting divorced and separated even the courts themselves, in particular the Family Court Division, have recognised the need for reform. This was published last November with a forward from Lord Justice Cobb. It is critical to recognise, the report says, that children are at risk of harm when parents separate. Family breakdown is a time of great vulnerability and research has consistently shown that unresolved parental conflict is harmful to children. And behind the figures are suicides, mental breakdowns and damage to the children. So all the research shows that if a divorce is very full of conflict, then actually the negative impact on the child are immediate and long lasting as well. John is carrying on the fight. He doesn't want his child to think he ever gave up. And yet he has so many fears now for his son. The damage done to my son is now lasting. I worry a lot about his future, what his future looks like. I wonder how much he's gone through, where he's believed for a long period of time that I'm a danger to him.